We've got a, uh, a guest in studio. Amory Edgar is the executive director of the um, Center for... Uh, Amory, uh, slide into that microphone and say good morning. Good morning, Mark. Thank How you for are having you? me here. Um, it's the Canadian Society for Social Development that you're the executive director of. And um, we, uh, we're here this morning. We want to talk to you about a program that uh, you're putting on, uh, entrepreneurial and uh, online entrepreneurial and web design training is um, this uh, program, IBDE, Internet, is it Internet Business Development for Entrepreneurs? That's correct. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, so we were going to talk to you about this program, which is uh, launching soon. We want to tell the listeners about it. Uh, first, though, I want to find out a little bit more about the Canadian Society for Social Development. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, Mark, the CSSD was started in 2005 as a federal corporation. We're also a national charity. So it's, it's really great to be operating here out in Nelson as a, as a registered charity and offering online programs mainly for people with disabilities, but um, the program, especially the web design program, is open to anyone wishing to learn web design. Okay. Now, uh, so how does that work? First of all, it's, you're not, uh, the educational component is also being supported by Selkirk, I believe? That's correct. A very important strategic partner for CSSD is the Selkirk College, who accredits the two programs under the IBDE umbrella. And when you say accredits, um, so we're talking about university credit or college credit programs? Yeah, think? yeah. The students who complete both programs earn a college certificate, which is a real benefit to their resumes. I would say so. I mean, the web design has been around for, you know, to almost 20 years in some form or another, but it's not going away. And so these are the jobs of the future, essentially. And this kind of training is invaluable in the sense that it's not just sort of a roll your own kind of thing. By the time you leave this and you enter the workforce, you'll be um, a, a highly trained person to do this. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I've heard from web designers themselves that although you can pretty much pick up with any sort of a templating program nowadays, such as WordPress or something like that, they still feel it's very essential for someone to get the proper background training if they're going to go out and serve the public by building websites, um, because then they've got some theory and and they're going to go about things a little bit more methodically and um, more acceptably. Okay. Um, now, uh, first of all, uh, this uh, program being offered by you, the uh, Canadian Centre for Social Development, um, first of all, is there a criteria to get in and is there any assistance for the people who do apply? Right. Yes. Uh, the, there's a pretty simple entrance requirement. We require a grade 10 education as a minimum. So, so we kind of go the adult learner route. Uh, we can look at the experience people have. For instance, a lot of times applicants will come to us with a background in graphic design or they're artisans to begin with, or perhaps they have an older certificate in print media. And we're, we're pretty open-minded. We do run an interview process, and each applicant goes through a skills assessment process just to make sure that they have the proper computer skills and aren't going to struggle in the program. Now, when they take the program, um, uh, well, a couple of things I think I'd ask. Um, now, is part of the CSSD involvement that there's any sort of funding or support that takes uh, for these uh, applicants? Well, yeah, because it's a college of a public post-secondary institution, applicants can go to their local commun- um, career centers and ask to be funded through the funding programs that are out there. Okay. Um, so that is available. It's important to get out there as soon as possible if somebody's going to go that route. But what we are doing this year is we're offering uh, five free software um, suites to the first five people to register as a result of this promotion and then become successfully engaged in the program and okay, carry right. through with their studies. Right. But yeah, we're going to um, offer this software free of charge and it's the Adobe Design Premium CS6 Suite. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's expensive. <laughs> I, ha- I have a earlier version of that at home, and it's expensive. So there you go. That's a, that's a very nice incentive. Um, so what people want to do, uh, you'll be taking, uh, you'll start uh, registrations for this soon. You want to tell that's us correct. about that? Yeah, it's on an ongoing basis. And anyone who's interested can go to the website and register. 
The website address is www.ibde.ca, and there's an online registration form right there. We also have a toll-free number and staff available to answer any questions that anyone might have. Okay, and, and the training itself will be conducted online. That's correct. Mm-hmm. So if uh, if somebody's out in the valley listening on any of our transmitters over in the East Lake in uh, the Crawford Bay or uh, out in the Slocan Valley, that kind of thing, uh, New Denver area, uh, this is all available. Um, and you basically you take the instruction online. Uh, the course is, you said, four and six months. Does that yeah. mean that there are two different courses? That's right. There's actually two, two separate programming streams under IBDE. One is the Web Essentials, and that's the one I'm talking about now. Okay. It begins on November the 19th, and that's called Web Essentials. It's six months in length. And then about a month later, we'll run the IBDE Web Advanced program, and that's four months as well. Now, does Web Advanced, um, does it suggest a precursor? Does it, like you need a course before that? Yeah, you know, we'll accept applications from any practicing web designer for the web advanced courses, but it does require a person either to be a graduate of the web essentials or a pretty established web designer to have that requisite skill level. Okay. And uh, that's not the one that the prize is being offered for, no, the incentive. No. That's like, you know, um, add on to your educational ability. Good that's stuff. That's right. Um, and this is all being offered through the Canadian Society for Social Development. But if you want to find out more, I believe the website IB de.ca is the place to go and uh, you've got a telephone number for us as yes, well. Yes, we do. It's uh 188-9aspire. 188-188-9aspire. 9277473. Uh, for those of you who prefer the uh, the digits. And um, I notice on this brochure, it's also businessabilities.ca. Is that is that another? That's uh, another of our programs, yes. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. good stuff. Um, all right, well, thank you very much. The Canadian Society for Social Development, uh, which uh, actually is headquartered here in Nelson somehow, but distributed uh, people-wise all across the country. You guys That's are sort right. of very yeah. virtual. So yeah. uh, this this fits in well. Good stuff. Well, thank you. Anne-Marie Edgar has been our guest from the Canadian Society for Social Development. You're listening to Kootenay Morning on Kootenay Co-op Radio.